so that we can get started. Okay. So here we go back to mixed numbers. And again, virtual friends, I know you guys have got this, but stay with me for just a little bit just to review. Am I still a virtual friend? No. No. It probably just assigned this to you because I haven't switched you back over into this class. But um, okay. No. All right. So let's, I'm just going to make up a problem and put it up here. Um, let's do six and three fourths plus one and one third. All right. Let's take this. Everybody just look at me. Pins, pins down, markers down. I want to, I know some of you are ready to go, but some of you are not. And so I want to go a little bit slow right now. Okay. All right. First Can things first. Do what? Can I go? No, nobody's getting off yet. Okay. Sorry. I love you. Bye. But no, not bye. Sorry. Sorry. I love you. You're staying. Um, okay. First, let's I put it down. I'm not checking that yet. Put it down. I said put your marker down. Like you're not even listening and following directions. Okay. What's the first thing I should do? Oh, add the whole numbers. Add the whole numbers. So when I do that, I get seven. 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 Now I've got to work with my fractions. So guys, take this step by step. I think some of you tried to do this in your head. I have to. I, especially if you're somebody that missed, I don't know, four or more. Mm -hmm. Like, I need you locked in with me right now, paying attention, and you need to take it step by step just like I do, okay? All right, so we're going to do three-fourths plus one-third. Plus one third. And we're going to do that butterfly thing. But listen carefully to how to butterfly because this, I could tell, was messing some of you up because you got the whole number part, but then your fractions were like crazy. Um, four times one. Four. Three Nine. times three. Remember on the wings, we multiply. Okay? So three times three is? Nine. Nine. Now is when I actually go back and add. 9 plus 4 is 13. And then I multiply again the bottom. 4 times 3 is 12. 12. So I've got 13 12. But I cannot leave this improper, guys. You've got to have an eyeball out for if this is improper. 13 over 12. If the bigger number is on top, that is improper. So, so how many times does 12 one, go into 13? One. So one eight, full time. Eight, so how many would be left over? One. One twelve. over 12. So but I've got to add this 1 and 1 12 eight. to the 7 that's up here. So then I would get eight, eight. eight and 1 12. Okay, now let's talk about, you guys, I think you did fine with this yesterday, but the back of the worksheet, I think yesterday that you worked on, like messed some of you up because it was actually easier than what you realized. Because yesterday they all had the same common denominators and some of you were still butterflying. If they have the common denominator, do you need to butterfly? No. no. So let's rewind and let's do a problem like that and walk through it one at a time just, again, to make sure everybody's on the same page. So if I had 5 and 1 fifth plus 2 and 3 fifths, okay, first things, I'm going to add my whole number. 5 Seven. plus 2 is? 7. Seven. Now remember, if my fractions have the same denominator, I don't need to do anything. What do I need to do? Yeah. Add Just two. add the numerator. And one plus three is four. Four over five. Now, if I butterfly this, would I still get the same answer? No. But it takes longer. But it takes longer. So here, let's see what would happen if I did come down here and butterfly. And this is what happened as you guys tried to do this. And then you started messing up all of the multiplication. And then you messed up with the reducing. Because when you do it this way, you end up with a much bigger fraction that then you have to divide and reduce. 
So if I did it this way, I would get five times three 15. is 15. And five times one is five. So it's 20. So it would be 20. And five times five is 25. 25. So I, my answer would have been seven and 20 25. That's the same as 20 fifths, but I have to divide the top and the bottom by 5. So it just made these problems. If you did it this way, you should have still got the right answer, except that it just made it have a lot of extra steps that you didn't need. But let's look really quickly at another one of these. Because, again, let's see here. Let's do 1 and 15 sixteenths plus 3 and 3 sixteenths. Okay. First things first. Parker, what am I going to do first? Um, add the, the whole numbers. Add the whole numbers, and when I do that, I'm going to get? Four. Okay. Now, look carefully. Do I need to butterfly this one? No. no. Why not? They have the same denominator, Sam says. Okay, so what can I do instead? Just add what? 15 plus 3. 15 plus 3, and what is 15 plus 3? 18. 18. Okay, what do I do with my denominators? Do I add 16 plus 16? No, you just put the same number there. Okay, careful, because some of you added your denominators yesterday and put 32. Uh, well, that's not your right answer. 16 plus 16 is 32, but that's not what you do. If the common denominator the is there, it is the denominator. It just stays the same. Denominator okay. always stays the same. But is this, can I leave my answer like this, 4 and no. 18 sixteenths? No. Why not? Parker, why can't I leave this as my answer? Right, the fraction part is improper. So come down here. And I'm going to fix my improper fraction. How many times does 16 go into 18? One. And how many is left over? Two. Two. With that. And what do I put on bottom? 12 or 16. The 16. But, so I just changed out my 18 sixteenths into this. What do I need to do? Is this my total answer? No. I need to add the 4 back to it so I actually get. What do you three do? Yeah, five yeah. and two sixteenths. But wait if a minute, somebody's one, telling me something else. If five, one eight. One eight. Yeah. They're telling me that I can reduce this further. If one, you one, eight. if you reduce it by a two, five, one, eight. it can be. So Jason's one, telling eight. me I can divide the top and bottom of this fraction by two. I'm going to come over here because I don't have any room over there. So if I divide the top by two, it I one. get one. And if I divide the bottom by 2, I get 8. eight. So my answer could actually be 5 and 1 eight. and 1 8. If you gave me 5 and 2 sixteenths, I would not have counted it wrong. I would have just done this. Star. A star and the word reduce. That doesn't mean you're wrong. It just means that you could have taken it further. Okay? Make sense? Yeah. We do right. ourselves. Now I will give you one, and I want you guys to work it on your boards, and let's see how you do. Um, right. Can you do one without a uh, common denominator? No, because that's what everybody bombed on yesterday. Josie, yep. You do not have to put the Z, the little part. Yes. Parker, yes, 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 yes. Can you turn that off? What is happening? It doesn't look like every five minutes. And it's really annoying. Uh, this guy doesn't have hearing aids in. Um, hey, people on the video, can you hear an annoying beep that's like Kaylee's watch or Kaylin's watch going off? I'm so confused now that I have Kaylee and Kaylin in here. It's just ruining my life. Um, it's not ruining my life. I'm just a confused old lady. 
Um, I can't hear it. My old lady ears don't hear your story. Right it's not happening right now. No, because even whenever they talk in the room, we can't hear it because it's too far away. I can hear it from right here, though. All right, tell me when it goes off again, and I'll see if I can fix it. Okay, Um. anybody else needed to see that one? Yes, got it. Uh, what's your answer, yo? You're just not doing it? This friend used a piece of paper. Okay. Yeah, I don't have enough. Ooh. Okay. All right. So, there you go. Yes. 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 Okay. You can. You can just get a piece of paper and hold it up because I'm out of boards. I had plenty boards. I don't know where they went. I love yeah, virtual I friends, if you have, uh, those of you that used to be virtual, did you get a board and you have it at home still? Let's yeah. Still bring it back. Well, I used to like, be did my dad return the extra? He did or he didn't, Josie? Did he? Um, I don't know. I don't think so. I didn't see it up there. Kaylee, did you have one at home? Okay. I'll ask him later. Okay. I got one back. Okay. And Kaylee's going to bring one back too. So I'll bring one back too. You have one at home? Yeah. Of mine? I have one at my own house. Keep bringing it to school and you guys can use this one. I got one if, answer. I have my okay, own. Okay, there you go. I have my All right, so there. on this one, what was my first step? Eight plus Add the uh, plus uh, whole. Add my whole numbers. What do I get? Uh, 11. And then what do I do? And then. You have to add the five and nine. Add the numerators. 14. Five plus nine is? 14. And then what do I do? Which would make a hole so then Hang on, whoa, 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 what do I do now? Where do my denominator come from? On the bottom. I just use my old denominator, okay. When I have the numerator and the denominator are the exact same, what is that, the same as? One. One whole thing. So what do I need to do? Add 11 plus one. Add 11 plus one, so my answer is actually? 12. 12. Okay. I'll give you one more that's a butterfly situation Yay. to do on your own. Yeah. All right, go for it, friends. Hang on. You guys are killing me. I'm putting a star on yours. I'm putting a star on yours. You're oh. missing a whole number. Um, hang on. This fraction was correct, but this fraction and this fraction are not the same. This is correct. Oh, this is right. Uh, yes. Miss Beth? DJ, look at your whole number. Miss Beth? Yes. Yes, you could reduce it. Yes, you could reduce it. Okay. Yes. Yes, I did reduce it. You, you, this was fine. This was fine. I don't know how you got it. You didn't need to change this. You just need to divide it. It's not wrong. So your whole number would be Miss Bab. So then if you divide, so then you have to add the numbers. I wouldn't work this wrong. I would just be like, Miss Bab, now I have the So you could come over here and be like, okay, 38 divided by 2. You can't see your And then 38 divided by 2 would be. There it is. The watch is going off. The watch. Okay. I was like, what's happening? Yes. 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 You could divide both of those. All right. I hear you guys. The watch is going off. It's beeping. This watch is beeping right now. Can you guys hear this? Nothing. Should it yeah. be like making me crazy?
talking right now? Yes! Can't even hear it! Whenever you put it close to the camera, then yeah. Can't hear it at all. Deaf is bad. Turn off your hearing aids. I don't have them on. You're happy that you can not hear. Wait, I'm happy I cannot hear. It's annoying. Um, all right. Uh, how can you hear us? It's not how can you hear us? It's bad. How can you hear us if you're Miss Bab? Miss Bab. Smash it with a rock. Did it stop? Yeah. How can you hear us? Don't send that before. Because we're loud. Yeah, because we're loud. Yeah, because or we can use a head. I know, but I'm trying to like make sure it's done done. Can you put it in her backpack? Yeah, can you won't you still hear it in her backpack? Probably. Sorry. Put it in No, she has a little dentist bag bag in there. This is like, okay, you guys can go do your math if you feel good about it. I feel good about it. Can I have it? Can you check my answer for this one? Yes. It's pretty hard, Jim. Here I come. Can you come look at my answer? Yes, you're good, Joe. All right, goodbye. It's all right. All right, okay. Yes. Okay, yes. All right, so on this one, seven, six plus seven was? Thirteen. And then I come down here and I need to butterfly. So when I do that, I've got four times two is eight. And three times ten is thirty. So then what I do is I get the thirty-eight over four times ten. Forty. So my answer could be thirteen. And 38 fortieths. However, then I give you the little star that says reduced. So I can divide these both. I know they're both even numbers. So I can divide them both by two. When I do that, I I, do, I wouldn't know that in my head. It would be one of these where I have to come over here and do this. Or just times I do. Three I do a lot of math problems for nine times two. Okay, so that's a 19. And 40 divided by 2, that one I know is 20. 19 is a prime number, so I know I can't reduce that down. So my answer is 13 and 19. Okay. All right. You got another worksheet for practice today. So you guys are good to go work on that. Cam, you can go work on that if you're not already. Bye, babe. We're hanging up and stop recording. And I'm going to hand out their worksheet to you. Bye. Bye.